Object Lab is a gallery that displays art and serves as a classroom for a variety of courses across the Williams campus, from Africana studies to biology, from Latina studies to statistics. We came up with the name Object Lab thinking about this space as being a laboratory for learning, that this is a gallery and a classroom. It's this very special hybrid space. Every semester, courses are not only using their own selection, but they're also drawing from work selected by other faculty. And so we find this amazing serendipitous learning as students are really finding connections with art that we hadn't even anticipated that they might respond to. One of the really special things about Object Lab is that it's a way for our public visitors to get a taste of the academic experience at Williams. It also allows our public visitors to think about the art on view through very different lenses than they might normally. For example, looking at a Kehinde Wiley painting through the lens of a political science course, or looking at a Kandinsky print through the lens of a biology class on neural systems, we hope that Object Lab will allow our visitors to think about art in new and unexpected ways. I'm Jose Constantine Amaya, Assistant Professor in Geosciences here at Williams, and I teach a course called Mastering GIS. The collaboration that we, we had, this course has had with, with the Object Lab, really stems from uh, Lordi Rodriguez's piece, which is right behind me. And uh, the first time I saw this image, I saw a very small version of it on a, on a piece of paper, but it blew, it blew my mind. I was just amazed that um, someone can have the audacity to play with geospatial information, to play with shapes, to, to mess with our sense of, of place. And, uh, and I thought, you know, how dare he? And then immediately I thought, how powerful is this? You know, this, uh, this way of portraying geospatial imagery. And it's something that I wanted my students to learn about, to think about, and all the images they produce, um, that they have the potential for really influencing how people perceive the world, perceive the environment, perceive themselves. In, in space. And it struck me that the decision that these artists had to make with regards to what it is they wanted to capture about place, what, the, what it is that they wanted to say about place and space, were the th same things that our students had to struggle with when they produced their own images. Um, you know, our students have to think about color, they have to think about shape and contrast, and perspective and scale. And these artists, you know, have to do exactly the same thing. And I thought, what a great opportunity for us as, as scientists, and as, as practitioners of GIS, uh, to take advantage of all, you know, the tremendous work that, that artists have done. And there's a great opportunity for us to learn um, from, from art.